So here we are with Dwar Tamir, who's the founder and CEO of Hargol Food Tech. They are the world's largest producer of grasshoppers for commercial sale as food. Dwar, why does the world need to buy and eat grasshoppers? The global demand for protein is expected to double over the coming decades, and existing protein sources are reaching their limitations. Meat-based protein is harmful to the environment, and plant-based protein requires heavy processing and not as healthy as we need it to be. So there is a race today in the world to develop alternative high quality protein. And grasshoppers are probably the best solution out there. They are the most efficient protein source nature can provide us. It is the most widely eaten insect in the world among 2.5 billion people, and they are the only kosher and halal insect in the world. Wow. You said that meat-based protein is bad for the environment. Why is that? Well, a lot of people don't even know that. 25% of gas emissions in the world are produced by the beef industry alone. We also talk about water usage, arable land usage, and so on. Grasshoppers, compared to beef, are at least 20 times more efficient. They reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 98.8%. They reduce water consumption by 1,000 times, and they require 1,500 times less land to produce the same amount of protein. Is this process more humane for you know, harvesting grasshoppers than say cattle or even chicken? If you ever had a chance to look at the way we slaughter the cows and the chickens, that's not really nice. But let's compare these to plant-based protein. Is this more humane than plant-based? I'm telling you yes. Because when the farmers grow the plants, they use pesticides and fertilizers to kill all the insects that come to eat the plants. They kill them in a very nasty way. These, these insects are just dying in the fields, wasted, no one is using them, and then they contaminate the soil and the water sources. Now, when we grow the grasshoppers, we're not using any fertilizers, any pesticides, and even the way we harvest them at the end is done in a humane way. We are using the fact that these are cold blood creatures. We drop the temperature, they fall asleep, and only then we collect them and freeze them. There is no stress in the process for the animals. Amazing, amazing. So. Now I'm a believer, okay? I want to eat grasshoppers. What type of food can you make from the, from, the, from the grasshopper protein? Anything you can think about, because one more advantage grasshoppers have is almost neutral taste and flavor. So you can add it as an ingredient to whatever food product you like. Grasshoppers contain over 70% protein, all essential amino acids, and they are nutrient rich. They contain omega-3, omega-6, iron, zinc, and folic acid. So it's good for you as it is. You can see this is a, this is a grasshopper. We, we can bless before we eat one. Okay. Amen. Yeah. I wouldn't say it has a strong taste, but I think it's pretty good. This is an energy bar plain energy bar with grasshopper protein and honey and I think we can share one. Thank you. That's very good. To tell you the truth, I don't taste a lot of grasshopper here. Exactly. It tastes like a fantastic oatmeal honey based energy bar. But the fact that it also has protein in it makes it um, fantastic. Right now there's a locust swarm problem in certain places in the world, Pakistan and other places. Are there, th are there aspects of the knowledge that you've gained through purposely growing grasshoppers for protein consumption that could be applied in, in situations like that to, let's say, turn the lemon into lemonade or you know, to, to gather these locusts in a way and use them so that they do less destruction? Absolutely. In the past half a year, we've been contacted by governments from East Africa and from Asia and, and also the Israeli government asking for our support and advice how we can control the locust swarms in those regions. The immediate answer, using our processing technology to collect all the grasshoppers in the wild, process them into a powder that, have a, that has a very long shelf life of about 24 months and feed other regions in the world that suffer from famine. The technology we are developing for the farming of the grasshoppers may be used to gather the grasshoppers and prevent them from destroying the crops and then processing them. So today you're producing millions of grasshoppers uh, for commercial consumption. Um, let's say in your ideal world where you're producing trillions of grasshoppers per year, what does the world look like? Well, the world looks like it looks today, meaning people are still eating meat, they are still eating plant-based, but about 20 to 30 percent of their consumption comes from alternative protein sources, among them insects. And we believe that grasshoppers will take a significant portion of that new market. 
Uh, we see many food products, sausages and hamburgers, energy bars, protein shakes, cookies, and many, many more products it's boosted by grasshopper's nutrients, uh, providing the population around the world healthier uh, protein alternative and much more sustainable. How can our viewers potentially help you? We are looking for distribution partners. We have a line of products, we have a new brand just launched in the US, and we are looking for more distributors to work with and distribute our products in the US market to the evangelical uh, consumers. We are seeking additional food producers to develop more exciting, innovative food products with our grasshopper protein and honey, and expand our products line. With the demand we see right now, we are accelerating our uh, production expansion and we are seeking additional $2 million in equity in the company to do that. So there you have it, friends. At Arise, we like to talk about innovation for good. And I just love amazing ideas like this that, you know, are paradigm shifts. I actually believe, I'm a, I've become a believer today, I, I, in grasshoppers. I believe that in, in the near future, we're going to see this form of protein grow and grow in the world because it's so efficient, it's so good for the environment. I would encourage you to get in touch with the company if you could be a potential investor or even distribution partner. I think your experience would be both profitable and tasty.